Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of Cloud Deep Dive. In our previous video, we talked about AWS Verified Access Service and its different component and gave you a quick demo on how you can set it up. If you haven't watched that video, I will put the link of that video in the description below. Please watch that video to learn more about AWS Verified Access. As mentioned in that video that we have two options to use as user trust provider. One is your IAM Identity Center and another is OIDC OpenID Connect. In that video, we used IAM Identity Center as our trust provider. In this video, I'll show you how you can use OpenID Connect like Okta or an external IDP in your trust provider. So to do that, you will go to your AWS Verified Access under VPC and you'll click on AWS Access Trust Provider. You click on Create Verified Access Trust Provider, which will open this page. Here you will provide the name of that uh, trust provider. Suppose I'll say Okta AVA. Again, you will provide the policy, policy reference name, which you will use under your policy while writing your policy. So we can give the name as Okta. Under User Trust Provider, instead of uh, selecting I am Identity Center or AWS SSO, I will select OIDC, Open ID Connect. Now you will see that you need to fill out some information about your external identity provider from where you will get this information. Now to get that information, very first thing you need to create an account on Okta to get the Okta domain name. Then you will go to Google and type Okta OIDC well-known authorization server. The very first link you will get about the reference API documentation for developer.okta. You will open that and you will reach to this particular link where you will click on authorize and you will click on the well-known open id configuration we will pick up the very first link from here and will open in a new browser then you need to replace your okta domain name with the domain name you get while by creating that account so let's go ahead and copy that from here and paste it here and press enter There should be only one HTTPS, and you see you get the issuer, authorization endpoint, token endpoint, and user endpoint information. So you pick up these endpoints one by one and fill up this information. Now to get the client ID and the client secret, you will go to your Okta domain and you will click on Applications, and you click on Create App Integration. Here you will select Open ID Connect. Then you will select web application and click on next. Here you can provide the name. I say Okta AVA. And then you need to provide a sign in redirect URL. So basically when you sign in, when user will try to access your application, it will redirect it to Okta. So where you will enter your username and password. And after entering the username and password, where Okta should redirect your request. So ideally it should be the application name, but I don't want to create one single application for each of my corporate application under AVA. So for that, what I'll do, I'll create a wildcard entry and there what I'll say that this is my redirect URL. So my corporate applications will be like hr.cloudtype.org or finance.cloudtype.org. So it doesn't matter which application we are trying to access, it will always take it back to those applications because I'm using star here. Next, I will allow it every one in my organization to access this application. But if you want to limit, you can limit to certain groups as well. Then you click on save. After that, you will click on sign on. You will go to open ID connect ID token and click on edit. Under groups claim filter, you will select Magic regex and you will put it a dot star and you will save it. Then you will go back to journal and you will find your client ID and your secret token, which you can input here, client ID and the client secret. Next come up the scope, what scope you can use. For that you will go to Okta scopes and open the very first link. And these are the scopes which you can enter. So for our uh, demo we need to use open ID we'll use profile because we need the profile of the users and then we also need the group information 
so we'll use groups so these three we will use so what octa will do that it will send information about these three scopes to AVA so that's all I wanted to show you that how you can create a trust provider by using external identity provider octa uh, rest everything else remains same that how you create instance group and access endpoints and how you access those how you update route 53 and all those stuff will remain same you can watch my first video where i explain in detail so hope you like this video you learn something new today that how you can integrate octa with uh, verified access please do like and subscribe to my video and my channel and uh, i will be posting more aws related video in near future thank you so much for watching have a nice day bye